The sweet sounds of Amazing Grace have arrived on Broadway, telling the true story behind that beloved hymn that never fails to make us cry. We're here at the Nederlander Theater to celebrate with the cast and their friends on opening night. Do you know anything about John Newton, the man who wrote the song Amazing Grace? I happen to know this story about Amazing Grace. I'm probably one of the few people that knows it. I don't know why I know that trivia, but I'm, I can't wait to see it dramatized. He was a slave, well, he was trader. slave trader who became a slave. Who became a slave, and, who uh, discovered Christ, found redemption, and then uh, was very influential with William Wilberforce in eradicating slavery from England. So this is a big night. How do you feel? Very excited and very proud um, from everybody, the, the entire staff and family of the show. And uh, we're, we're couldn't be more excited. It's been a long waited, um, but uh, we feel very ready and uh, very excited. Wait, why are you guys here? You're going to see someone special in Amazing Grace tonight? <laughs> Daddy! It happens to be our father's uh, 13th, 14th Broadway show or something. I don't know. Something great, yeah. What are your opinions on people's audience members singing along in the theater? Because I hear some people might sing along to Amazing Grace tonight. I'll tell you, I've done Mamma Mia. So all bets are off. You know, if, it's hard. If they have a good voice, it, I'm it, okay it, with it. It, it, it depends. Yeah, really. I think if a person pays their ticket that they should be entitled to sing if they want, yeah. As long as they're not singing into a phone. No phone stuff. You know, when we did Civil War, everyone who auditioned sang Amazing Grace. That's what I made them sing. That's when you can feel the heart of somebody. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound <laughs> That saved a wretch like me was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see in Russian it's love yep let's get blob years lumbrock that's it happy opening night how do you feel right now amazing I am so blessed to be here right now and I just feel wonderful, thank you. I'm just ready to have a good time because we have a day off. We had 13 shows in a row, so I'm ready to party a little bit and let my hair down. This is such a moving, powerful show. What about it moves you the most? I get moved by the possibility of this show. And by that I mean uh, it affords the audience a chance to uh, deal with the underlying trauma that I think uh, most Americans suffer in varying degrees from. And that is the legacy of slavery. It's, it's pretty cool that we get to kind of show people the story behind the song. Essentially, Amazing Grace is just an abridged version of his life story. To see John Newton, this wretched character, make this U-turn in his life after everything he's been through, everything he's been through, and he finds the God within. It's healing in a, in a way to get to, you know, have this kind of reconciliatory, redemptive storyline with my son, played by the great Josh Young. It's really a beautiful, sweet art. The show is about, you know, the inspiration for this hymn, but there's also this adventure and swashbuckling and these special effects. I mean, what is it like to work with all this stuff? This has a lot of special effects, and I mean, the girls kind of, we get to stay away from it a little bit. We're in really beautiful dresses, and so we stay far, far away from water and, and like, things blowing up. But um, it's very exciting, and I think that they just, they really brought the show to life in the perfect way. It's crazy, and it's all true. Like, he was on these crazy voyages. He should have died many times in many storms, and somehow he lived. And, and it's really cool that we get to show it on stage. I have no idea what it looks like, but it feels really great. It feels like we're in a storm. Well, I want to know, what is it like singing Amazing Grace to this audience and having them leap to their feet and react this way? It, it, just, it just has a, a karmic, I don't want to say heaviness, but a density. Uh, it has an emotional density that uh, is able to penetrate to the soul. It's crazy. That doesn't happen in any other show that I've ever been in. Um, I think it's because the song is so universally praised and loved. It's just affirmation every single night that what we have the privilege of doing is so incredibly worth it. I mean, it's moving to me to see a group of people moved in that way. 
away. It's, uh, it just kind of washes over you. It's not the standing ovation stand up thing, you know, it's like, it's people are so moved, they don't know what else to do. They have to do something and they stand um, and they participate and it's really special. So when I see a sea of sea of people with so many different colors and complexions and eth different ethnicities. It's amazing how the world has changed, indeed. It really is.